Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Arthur Murray Lifestyle Series. I'm Victoria Regan, the Global Ambassador for Arthur Murray International, and today our franchisees are from Fremont and Scotts Valley, California. They have not only had a tremendous amount of success in Arthur Murray's, but a lot of personal success. Please say hello to Richard and Marianne Myers. Hi. Hi. Thank you for having us, Victoria. It's great to have you. Thank you for taking the time. I'm very excited for our viewers and all our friends to know about your success personally and with the um, with the company. Can you start with the beginning of where you met and how you were introduced to Arthur Murray's? Sure. Yeah, I mean, um, we definitely had a lot of personal success. Rich and I actually went to high school together wow. um, <laughs> many, many, many moons ago and um, went to college and then I started with Arthur Murray's um, in the Hayward location. And so um, that's where my career began. And that's with Chris and Daisy, of with course. Chris and Daisy. We all know Chris and Daisy mm -hmm. and their success. So terrific mm -hmm. mentors. Yeah. So um, she was she was in the company before I was. Um, we were about six months apart in training. Mm -hmm. um, she brought me in. I was working for the bank, um, and as a teller or as a lead teller in the bank. And she said, "Hey, why don't you come back? Why don't you come back for an interview?" And they're looking for male teachers. So wow. I did. That's, that's a yeah. big difference from a bank mm -hmm. to a dance studio. Oh, big time. And you started out as a student, yes, right? Yes, for, for, for a small amount of lessons in the San Jose location. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you were invited in by her. She, she went to the bank, I assume, was uh, uh, <laughs> maybe cashed a check and, and invite you into the studio. Is that what happened? Uh, well, the, the, the funny story was um, uh, I was working, I was going to college for finance and, you know, and she's she's always had a dance background um, so when I was working for the bank it's for a long term so I want to work for the bank you know to cover my career and all that and then she one time um, I'm working from nine to five I picked her up for lunch and she said hey um, why don't you uh, take a look at my paycheck and I said that's great and she's really excited about it um, and it was it was a large amount of paycheck because of you know uh, it's from a, a, a C. It was long story short. It was uh, it was um, it was a check that was made out for somebody else. It was a mistake. Oh. But to <laughs> me, what that what it opened up with me is that it, it gave me a possibility for the future. So to me, it's like it's not just a um, a dance career, but it's going to be really a long term career for me. So it gave me a really um, a, a bright view, um, a really vivid view of what it could be in the future. And then so I applied. It's certainly different probably from yeah. what most people would think when they are asked to come into an Arthur Murray studio and have, be a dancer and mm -hmm. teacher and they don't see the possibilities and so you're a perfect example oh, yeah, big time. To, um, to go from a bank and finance to this career mm -hmm. which has been obviously again very successful. Mm -hmm. So you started in the studios and worked all the facets of the studio, teaching, mm -hmm. learned the managerial, front department, back department, and let's talk about your dance career, which was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we started as a um, future champion couple, dance smooth and rhythm as a nine dance couple, mm -hmm. um, and then I believe it was a few years dancing into Rising Star, I think it was 2011 that we officially um, won the Rising Star Rhythm. Um, title, mm -hmm. and then from there, that's when um, we just focused and honed in on just the category of rhythm dancing versus doing dual um, mm -hmm. categories. Yeah. It takes a little less time. I mean, it's a lot yeah. to do the the uh, nine dances, isn't it? But at oh, least you accomplished it, and you were able to really teach it well and, and oh, yeah. be familiar with it. The whole thing about it was just to, we we competed, so that way we know we know how to replicate the feelings with our mm -hmm. students. So, um, we had and all of our students put themselves out there on the dance yeah. floor, why not us, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it really helps. The students watched you be so successful on the floor and so animated, and then you can vouch for how important it is to compete, which you agree with, right? Oh, if, yes. if you Most teach, you, you encourage everybody to compete definitely. at a high level. Most and definitely. congratulations for all that. Thank you. Uh, we have so much to talk about, but moving forward, what was the transition for you, the decision and the transition from dancing, primarily that, you know, it's, it's self-serving really, mm -hmm. to franchisee? Oh, I'll <laughs> start with this one. Yes. <laughs> the, uh, um, coming into, as I said earlier, I came into the Arthur Murray not for dancing. 
I came in it because Ooh. I know there's a security in the job. Um, Marion, on the other hand, she was a dancer all her life. So I was already 21 years old when I started. The, I didn't know about the competitive world at all. I had no idea about it, and we weren't even originally partnered together. Um, so one way, one thing led to another. We danced together, we liked it, and more like we got tricked into it <laughs> together. But uh, it's a, it, it was a setup. It was a setup. Yeah. It was I a didn't good want setup. to dance with my boyfriend at the time. Yeah. Oh, good idea. Well, so, it worked out, I guess. Yeah, but the, uh, the, I think what it was is that the competitive side of me, because I've always been an athlete. So to me, oh, the, there's a thing to this too. So there's a whole new world that I had no idea existed. Yeah. <laughs> right, so I mean, as a as a as a guy, they're like, "Are you a dancer?" I mean, even for the longest time, Victoria, you have no idea. Uh, when I was transitioning from the bank to yeah. <laughs> to the dance career, I said, I, I, "I'm gonna learn how to dance uh, how to dance and teach salsa." I didn't even, even say ballroom. Yeah, you know. So the 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 whole world of the dance sport to me was another world that we have. You know, enjoyed together. Mm -hmm. So to the, to enjoy that dance career and then plus the franchisee, uh, or to be a franchise uh, owner, it was great. Yeah. So to transition from dance competitors now to having our own school, um, that's something that I've, oh, I've always wanted. Um, that's always something I've always strived for. When I when I got interviewed by Daisy Lynham and Chris Lynham, I told them, "Is there a possibility for me?" to be a franchise owner. And I think they were a little step, you know, caught off guard when I said that. But that's, that's, that has always been my goal. Um, and then because we're together, I think it's now, you know, we share the same journey together. Mm -hmm. high, school, high school friends, yeah. dance partners, marriage, and back to Daisy and Chris. So they hesitated and then they saw, of course, the yeah. potential, yeah. they're very open to Helping they, people up in studios. They were definitely very supportive, supportive with us. Supportive, very, very they supportive. They helped us pave the way of our dance career first, and then when it was time for us to branch off into our own location, our own studio, mm -hmm. they paved the way for us to open up the Fremont location. And I think for us, it was just kind of like strengthening all of our tools for every aspect of the career that, that Arthur Murray has to offer. And so it was just, when it was time, it was it was ready for us to, to yeah. move into that to that path. We trusted them every process of the way. Mm -hmm. they, they were really great mentors yeah. for us. When we were ready, they approached us and we said yes. Yeah, they are great trainers. Mm -hmm. We've seen that. How many studios do they have? Seven. I believe seven. 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 Mm -hmm. And you have two. We have two, two for now. Yes. Mm -hmm. And ha let's see, when did you open your first then? So we opened our uh, Fremont location um, in 2017, or excuse me, 2014. And then our son came into the picture at 2017. He's six now. Yes. yes. We'll show a nice picture And then we him. opened up our um, Scotts Valley location 2021. Mm -hmm. And then our daughter came to the picture in 2022. And she's one. She's one she's year one. old. Gorgeous yes. children. <laughs> so now There's no correlation with studios <laughs> and kids. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It changes <laughs> your whole world, doesn't it? But yeah. again, to encourage people that you can have it all. Mm -hmm. I, I've talked to so many franchisees. I've been fortunate to have quite a few lifestyle uh, interviews and yes. it's just um, an amazing thing to have uh, in this field unlike people would think have mm -hmm. a family and uh, homes and a beautiful you know mm -hmm. have support for other mm -hmm. careers for your staff members yes. which are 12 you have 12 I believe you told me 12, 12 staff, staff members 12 staff yes. members yes. yes next subject might be something very personal and a, a big success and I would say you were a walking miracle Richard um, if you'd like to share that story with everyone, and of course you can interject your feelings and yes. what the process was like for you both, and I'm sure everyone around you. Um, yes, yeah, so I guess we're talking about when, in 2017 when I was diagnosed with uh, Guillain-Barre syndrome. Um, for those that don't know yes. what that is, because I didn't. Uh, GBS for short, uh, it's an autoimmune disorder. Mm -hmm. So it's, a, it's a, my nervous system um, was attacked by my immune system. Um, so it kind of backfired on everything else. Uh, it's a very, very rare disorder. Um, so not a lot of people, not even a lot of people in the medical field really knows about it, unless they're in the neural uh, science of everything else. 
Um, yeah, in 2017, Marion was pregnant, um, five months pregnant when I was diagnosed. Um, she, um, yeah, the strength of what you, what she showed, uh, taking care of herself and me at the same time. Um, I was paralyzed from neck down uh, for about a month. Mm -hmm. Um, and then it took me years to regain um, full control of my nerves again. Um, but because of the severity of it, and also because uh, I was having a firstborn son, um, it motivated me to, to do better, like to, to get better fast. Um, so my recovery was faster than a lot of people that was helping me in the medical field thought was I was going to recover. Uh, I went home after a month. Um, we started dancing again competitively in January. Um, uh -huh. I believe it was in November. And I think we have video of you in therapy. Wait, yeah, so we do. all that will watch this, it was truly amazing for everyone. I mean, just mm -hmm. again, the personal success of that, the doctors must have. <laughs> thought it was a miracle and probably because you had danced possibly plus the motivation and you got back on the floor and competed. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I mm -hmm. mean as if you had never had this. Yeah, it was definitely it wasn't easy. It no. was um it like to dance without knowing the result mm -hmm. and to or not to get the same result as you normally would get. Um and it's only purely for recovery. Yeah. You know, for mental recovery, emotional and relationship. Yeah. And amazing so, for both again, I keep saying amazing, but um just a, a you know, a definitive word that is so accomplished mm -hmm. for how you got through that. Yeah. Being pregnant, going through that and the support and the closeness mm -hmm. it brought you and I'm sure all the Arthur Murray family to you. Yeah. That must have helped a lot. Definitely. I think for yeah. us, you know, you know, our focus when we were competitors, you know, we competed hardcore for four years and then when we were going to be welcoming our son in 2017 and he got diagnosed I think the focus for us was just get him better so the dancing yeah. of what we did was mainly for his recovery exactly. so I think for the next two three years after that it was just to strengthen him and then have the opportunity to dance as a husband and wife again mm -hmm. and for him to hold our son um, as a father, yes, first time I mean, father. I think that time was mm -hmm. great for all of us to watch and the cheering and uh, yeah. everybody, you know, really pulling for you. And we're it so was, happy. It was so involved, beautiful really. to have the family of Arthur Murray support us. Yeah. Staff, students, franchisees. They it helped us see the light at the end of the tunnel. Absolutely, and and so at this point, if there's ever a complaint, you must look at uh, anyone that complains and just say, oh, you know. It, what you've been through, it's, it's quite a challenge, yeah. so. Definitely. <laughs> so now you are at a place of, I would hope, happiness and mm -hmm. being grateful. And uh, before our last question, any goals that you have uh, at this point? Any? Uh, right now, um, I love the dynamic of, my sta of our staff. Um, I love where we're at right now with our life. Um, mm -hmm. We have a lot of goals in mind, you know, so. Mm -hmm. um, Definitely, we're not stopping in th with two schools. We want more so because we, I've, I feel like we're responsible for the livelihood of our staff. Yeah. So there are a lot of dreamers on yeah, the we team have a lot of who dreamers. also want to open up studios. So giving mm -hmm. them opportunity, yeah. like how we were given the opportunity, mm -hmm. kind of continue and passing that torch down from us to them to continue the, the legacy of Arthur Murray's. Yeah, you created that desire as Daisy yeah. and Chris did. Yes. Um, so this is for our viewers, those who are want to be teachers or uh, have a finance or want to change careers or adopt a very secure career that is fun what would be your advice would you suggest for your age or younger that that could happen mm -hmm. I, I, I suppose <laughs> I, uh, to me i think it's just having trust and going all in um don't be afraid to make mistakes and ask questions because the if uh, we have nothing but great mentors in Arthur Murray. Uh, even if the people that you're asking questions to is not the people that you're working for, there's still the entire company itself embraces you. So I think it's, you know, like, you ask questions and have set goals for yourself, and I think you can accomplish it. Yeah. yeah, I think I agree. I think we're the best in the world. We have the best system in the world, the best people. Um, 
the highest qualifications and and you're an example of that thank you so much thank you for having uh, us. again yeah. congratulations for all your inspiration and successes and thank you to all of you for watching and supporting the lifestyle series i'll see you on the next episode